Admin Area, click Plugins, Add New, then search for Facebook for WooCommerce. Install the plugin and activate it, then click Configure. Now click Get Started, and this will take you to Facebook in order to choose which business assets you want to connect to your WooCommerce store. Click Continue, and in here make sure you select the Facebook pixel that you want to add to your WooCommerce store. You can also enable automatic advanced matching. This will improve your tracking accuracy and as a result give you better ad performance. And that's pretty much it. Your pixel is already installed as well as the conversion API. Number 7. Aggregated events. Go back to your business settings, then go to Data Sources Pixels. Select the pixel you have created earlier, then click Open in Events Manager. In here, if you see that your pixel has not received any activity yet, go to Test Events, enter your domain here, and click Open Website. Now just close this window and go back, you will see that you have the Page View event now. Go back to Overview and refresh the page. In here, click on Aggregated Events Measurement, then click Configure Web Events. Choose your domain and click Manage Events. This is where you set up the pixel events that you want to track on your website. This part is very important, so please follow along carefully. For easy ads, we will track the following events. Purchase, view content, add to cart, and initiate checkout. The higher the event on this list, the more tracking priority it gets. I recommend this order because the purchase event is the most important event that you need to track, followed by view content for retargeting, and then add to cart and initiate checkout. If you need to reorder your events, simply drag them by their handle like this. Make sure you don't forget any of these events, otherwise your tracking may not work properly or you may even get an error while creating your ads. 